Hey everybody, it's it's a it's a left ten for York, and I've been running everywhere. I need to get my skateboard back, please. I need it so bad. It's been uh, pretty terrible not having it. Kind of want it. So let's go and talk to Emma. Emma, that's her name, right? Yeah. I'm gonna raid her, uh... Mailbox! Okay, let's go. Why, if it isn't Agent York! Thank you so much for getting here on time! You know, I think I've gotten used to waiting on you. I feel like someone's in there. Let's go check it out. Huh? What do y'all want? I'm kind of busy here. Hi there. Are you Emma? Yeah. Who are you? Francis York Morgan. I'm an FBI special agent. Please call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? So, what does the FBI want with little old me? I already told the police everything I know about Lee's. Emma, I haven't come here to talk to you about Lee's. Although I suppose it's sort of connected in a way. My darling is broken, and I need you to fix her. <laughs> You call your board your darling? I never heard that one before. All right, let me see it. I'll try and assess the damage. I replaced all your trucks, wheels, and gave you some brand new deck tape. Also, you were missing a tail guard, so I put one on for you. That way you should be able to do a few tricks here and there without any risk of damage. Well, what do you think? It's beautiful, Emma. The wheels were scraped down and the base plate screws were all about to fall out. Oh, and the axles were also warped. It was pretty much in critical condition. Now, what I want to know is how did it get that way? Well, my car was stolen on my way here from Houston. So, I switched over to my darling and rode her here instead. <laughs> you know, you're crazier than you look. Emma, would you mind answering another crazy question for me? I want to use this board to soar. Would you mind teaching me a trick that would allow me to do so? Um, you mean you want to do a wally? Ooh, well, I'd be happy to teach you how, but it's too cramped in here. Hmm. Oh, I know where we should go. You want to learn too? You sure? Seems like you're interested. <laughs> Whatever. I know you're just going to come along anyway. So you should at least learn the basics. What was that face? <laughs> Complete the skateboard course to learn how to do a wally. Oh no. We have to do a skateboard. Yep, here we are. <laughs> Okay, Agent York, now we should have enough room to practice. I'll show you how it's done first, then you just practice till you learn how to do it, okay? Ch 
sure. Why can't why can't I move? Why can't I move? I can't hit buttons. Uh, game. Game. Oh no, I didn't save either. Uh, yikes. Give me a second. So the, the camera was actually glitched. They were supposed to follow her and not stay back with us. So you learn how to do a wally. A wally is an important trick that lets you use kicker ramps to jump over obstacles. Press left bumper at the right timing and soar. You can access skateboard courses for many. So we collect all flags before the time runs out to win. So, do I have to, I have to do it? Okay, Agent York, now we should have enough room to practice. Okay, so now I have to do, I have to do a wally. Uh, let's, let's do a wally. What's the rewards? Jump license three, max speed increase. Ooh, max speed incense. But that's it. Increase. So I need to get forty thousand points, or eight hundred and seven or eighty-seven thousand points. All right. Let's 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 give it a shot. Sure. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. I'm hitting, oh, I'm hitting the right bumper. Oh, the controlling is so bad. Wee! Holy crap! I jumped over the, I jumped over it! I jumped over it! I jumped over it! Uh, I gotta go back and get it. Uh, eh. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have jumped it. I should have jumped the last one. Uh, okay, come on. Get. I'm gonna get it. Eh. I did it. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's. That's to get the sunscreen. Pre acquired a cola and a crawfish shell. Okay. And we learned how to do the Wally. Now we can do the Wally to get over to Chuck, apparently. Good old Chucky boy. Yeah. Thank you, Emma. I only learned that new trick thanks to your guidance. Now I'm sure that Zack and I will be able to reach our destination without any trouble at all. Thank you for assisting in the investigation. <laughs> Glad to be of service. If your board breaks again, or you feel like customizing it a bit more, just stop on by my workshop. I'm pretty much always there during the day. I'm also taking some time off school because of what happened with Lise. Skating and playing music are the only things that help me escape the pain of losing her. Well, you didn't have to make it so dark. Zach, did you see the expression on her face just now? She works hard to act cheerful, but she's yet another person who was hurt by the tragedy. Lisa's death is like wildfire, spreading embers of sadness throughout the entire town. 
So we are going to go to her workshop and incense has been unlocked. Skating has been unlocked. The love of skating has been unlocked. Which is what? So the love of skating. I don't know what that is. But I want to do this one again to try and get a little bit better at the course. Um, we'll try one more time. I want to try and get a better time because I... I hit the wrong jump. <laughs> it looks so bad. But I want to get more. Okay, so... Oh, I need to do the jump anyway. But I jumped over the... Do I hit the jump at a certain time? Do... I screwed that one up pretty good. I'm gonna have to do it again. This video is gonna be like 20 gigs. Then it's gonna suck, but that's okay. Jump! I need to land on it. Or am I meant to, like, spin around? Like, okay, so I get these. Ugh. The control is so bad! And York almost fell through the floor. Hey. I gotta turn back around. Oh, I'm taking damage on my board now. Lame. So do I have to press the wheelie button or the wally button at like just the at the right time to jump over the boxes? Sure, we'll do it one more time. So like I jump there. Ugh. There's no control. There's just it's about on par as being as bad as. Okay, so can I just like lightly tap it and be like, jump? No, he just jumps over. Why does he jump over that? Like, the jump is stupid high. No, turn, you... Yeah, you freaking goat. Let's go! Oh my gosh. See, okay, why is that jump dead on, but the other one just soars you over the flag? I'm gonna do it one more time. Nope, that was quit. Because I want to... Yeah, I need to get at least 40,000 points. This is going to take forever. I may do that off screen as well. But I need to just go ahead and... I want to check something out. So I jump. Is it based on the speed I'm going? Okay, I didn't even, didn't even let me do it that time. How did I miss? Okay. Yep. We're just going to give that one up. Anyway, that's skating. Fun time. Now I want to go to Emma's shop and I want to see what customizing we can do. I'm sure this is where I put in the incense because I didn't see any incense on my little like voodoo board thing. So then we're going to jump the shark. 
And then... Yeah, does she give us like a mission? Hi, Agent York! Hello! You're dying to learn a new one, ain't you? Dying to learn a new what? Trick! Trick? Sir. Sir. Telling me you don't know what the word trick means? More ways to express your overflowing passion. I don't think that Wally's is enough to satisfy your soul. I'd be happy to teach you a new trick if you want. R r r really? I'm dead serious. There's a course I always practice on. How about you try and finish it within a special... Oh, no. No. I don't wanna. I already... I'm ready to show you what I... Uh, sure. Oh, she's taking us there. Time to teach you your first trick. Finish this course within the time limit. The power slide? Alright. So... You learn how to do a 360 power slide. The 360 power slide lets you spin while moving. Your high speed spins will surely earn you a lot of attention. So does that mean I can destroy boxes? Well, so I just have to beat it within the time limit, which is fine, because now I want to go back and see what customizing does. Uh, thought this was going to be an easy recording, but now we're going everywhere, here, there, and around the world. So now we have to do 360 no scopes. Um, drop down toe holds and all that. Hi, Agent York. Hello. Um, repair. Okay, let me take a look at your board. Yeah, ten dollars. That's fine. I want to customize. You mind if I tell folks about how I got to customize a board for an FBI guy? Of course not. You're my mentor, after all. <gasps> really? Thanks. I reckon it might help out whenever I decide to open up my own shop, you know? I bet it'll make me famous. Official choice of FBI special agents. <laughs> I'm going to name it Emma's Skateboard Workshop. Clever. When that happens, I hope you'll expand and open up stores all throughout the U.S. Otherwise, I'll have to come down to Louisiana every time I need to fix up my darling. You trying to butter me up with compliments? <laughs> Absolutely not, Emma. I'm serious. Your skills are top class. You figured out how I ride my board merely from the friction marks, then adjusted my trucks based on that. The wheel and bearing selection in your shop makes perfect sense to me. Your finesse with applying the deck tape was also impeccable. It's rare to find an artisan who thinks this deeply about her customers. I now understand why you call this a workshop rather than a garage. Emma, you should be more confident. Zack and I both guarantee that you possess true talent in your craft. Agent York, you really believe I'm that talented? <laughs> wow, um, I'm so moved I don't even know what to say. See you later. Oh, if you ever got any skateboard questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So, do I not get to customize the board itself? Like, I thought... That's kind of what she meant. Hi, Agent York. Nope. See you later. Well, no. Oh, have you ever got any skateboard questions? Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought maybe I could, you know. Wait, I can't. Do we, do I don't have any. Do I not have? All right, well, do I want to, oh gosh, do I want to try that other one? The power slider? No, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Told myself we'd keep going. 
We've already spent like 20 minutes with Emma and her not customizing my board. So the workshop's just another place to go. Whoa, why is there so many people here? Oh. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Danny here? Well, we have to talk to Danny. You again? What happened to your arm, Danny? You had both of them the other day, didn't you? Shut up. Ain't none of your business. Just get out of here. Uh, I can't do that. I'm investigating the murder of your daughter and your ex-wife. Is a person... Ex... Wait, why is it an ex-wife? Is it because she died? Wait, 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 wait. Ex-wife. When did they get divorced? Did they, did they say that they got divorced and I just missed it? And your ex-wife is a person of interest. You really expect me to not ask about how you lost your entire arm? And on top of that, your ex-wife was... Ah, say it, shut the hell up! You want me to beat your ass? My, my treasure is still my woman. She ain't my ex-wife. Excuse me, Danny. Allow me to rephrase myself. Your wife, Galinda Clarkson, was murdered by somebody. By someone. I'd love to hear your side of the story. Are you soft in the head? This is Luke Carey. You think I'd ever tell an FBI asshole like you anything? This town belongs to the Clarksons. This ain't none of your business, you goddamn outsider. Okay, buddy, you need to you just need to tone it down a notch. Now get out of my sight. Zach, did you see his attitude? He wasn't irritated over losing his wife or his daughter. He was clearly regretting something. Perhaps he lost his he lost something else in addition to his arm. Shall we go and look for it? It may be related to the case, or it may just be a personal item of his. But if we find something that would cheer him up, he might give us some new information related to the case. It's up to you, though. I'm always in agreement with you. Find a memory of Galena that Danny lost when the alligator tore his arm off. I didn't know that was going to lead to a quest. Huh. Well, okay. We now have a mission. Which I have no idea where to find it. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna go jump jump the shark. Totally remembered. Okay, Patty. I'm going to try asking you that question again. What do you do when you're at home? Okay, so there's that. I saw something that one of my buddies would want to hear. Hey, Agent York. Yes? Is that? Sorry, never mind. I think I was just seeing things. I just gotta, I gotta get the right one. By the way, Patty, what are you... So did they just say the same thing over and over again? By the way, Patty. Wait, I, am I running into Patty and losing durability? Hey, let's shout... Yeah, I am. I'm accidentally running into her. And that's causing 1%. So you clearly love TV shows. But... Wait, now how did I get that percent back? By the way, Patty. What? Oh, he's not going to do it. Hey. Nope, don't run into her. I ran into her. Hey. Let... And then I got a percent back. This game is so weird. Okay, Patty. Oh, if I can't do it again, that's gonna actually... 
Patty, what's that? That tree? Or the water tower? That thing I'm pointing at. That. Like I said, what? That thing. Right there, Patty. Just tell me what it is. How am I supposed to know which that you're referring to? Oh, you're goofing on me, ain't you? <laughs> okay, Patty. I'm... Mm, well, I can't do it. I'll try and get it. It's a beautiful day, Pat. Yeah, it is. What else have you seen on that? Okay, I need to stop. I just need to stop. I'm not finding it. Hey, Agent York. Yes? Is that... Sorry, never mind. I think I was just seeing things. Patty, what's that? Okay, okay, okay. I need to stop. Let's go jump the shark. Or whatever it is. always gets stuck in my head. Yes, it's a devilish song, isn't it? Just be quiet. I know someone out there now who is very happy. And now, to go jump the shark. Were you thinking about Galena, too? And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states? Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. Incredibly vast. And it's mostly composed of mountains, deserts, and farmland, with small towns scattered about here and there. That's how America looks to me. Compared to the scale of this entire country, New York, Chicago, and L.A. are all microscopic. Sometimes they even feel like figments of my imagination. Think back to what Las Vegas looked like when we were driving up I-15. It was a mirage. But TV and movies dress up those mirages and broadcast them to people all around the world. Meanwhile, American women become fascinated by the gorgeous city lights and are drawn toward those illusions. The very same women who were chosen as prom queens in their small towns. In the end, all they find are ghosts. Once their eyes adjust to that blinding light, they realize there's nothing but vanity and lust surrounding them. They finally figure out that it was all in their heads. Then they quickly try to satisfy themselves with something else. Drugs. And drugs are the gateway to a whole pantheon of crime. Zach, remember what you told me once? The women who turn to crime aren't the evil ones. The drugs aren't evil either. They're nothing but chemicals. The ones who feed off those women and use them. They're the ones to hate. Let's go, Zack. We need to find the person who's hiding behind Galena and drag them out into the blazing southern sun. Oh, gosh. We did it. We did it. Oh, I need those. Come here. Oh, there's a lot of them. I need these guys real quick. Hold on. Pause for a second. We've almost reached our uh, our goal. On uh, hey, where'd you come from? You didn't jump. I didn't see you pick up a skateboard, little child. All right, we need to take out these dogs. If I could, uh, you know, hit them. Because I think this may actually be the 15. And I'll take it. So I need him to finish up my, uh, my quest. Plus, I need dog skulls. I know that's kind of weird, but I do. I'm only getting fur and tails, though. That wasn't all 15. Hmm. There has, I have to be like one away. No, five away. That was only ten. 
feel like that was more than that. Guess not, though. Is there... Oh, we can... The Thompson Farm! Hey, Agent York. Are you sure you really want to talk to this guy? He kind of scares me. Hattie, there's no need to worry. Just hide behind me and you'll be fine. Chuck Thompson. You were the first person to find Lisa's body, correct? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Ah, uh, Agent York. Seems like he ain't in the mood for talking. Chuck Thompson. May I have a word with you? I'm looking for the one who fired the pistol at heaven. You trying to say I gotta aim up to shoot because of my height? Hmm? Not at all. I was merely quoting the skeletal gentleman's oracle. Skeletal gentleman? You ain't making a lick of sense. What do you all want anyway? What do y'all come here to waste my precious time for? I'm currently running a race around town thanks to you, who fired the starting shot. The murderer and I are competing to see who can cross the finish line first. Unfortunately, the murderer got a generous head start on me. If he gets away from me, I'll lose. But if I can catch up to him, then I'm sure I'll win. So please, Chuck, tell me, how did you find Lisa's body? Her body was hidden under a bridge on the bayou, very close to the Mississippi River. It's got to be at least a few miles away from your farm in this swamp, right? Now, the Clarksons are the folks who gave me the damn permission to farm crawdaddies here in the first place. Now, why the hell would I ever want to kill that little girl? Then what were you doing out there? Hmm. You know, lately I've been seeing a queer boat around these parts. Ain't too big. Probably only holds five or six. And it's got a deep draft. Assholes think they can just drive right through my turf, right through my dang crawdad farm. So you gave chase, which led you to Lisa's body. Yeah, that's right. Fucking poachers. Where did the poachers go? Oh, hell if I know. Fog was thick that day, thicker than usual. So I lose sight of them. The next thing I know, I'm under that goddamn bridge. Then I felt a chill run up my spine. And I knew. So I drove up to the bank and got out. And there she was, strung up on that there altar. Did you know Lise personally? Yeah, I knew her a little. She never showed me no disrespect, unlike the rest of those damn Clarksons. They so rotten I can smell them from here, same as the shit at the bottom of this here swamp. Heavy, heavy. Yeah. They was a little better when their boy Lenny was still around. Lenny? Yeah. Leonard. PJ's son. He never showed me no disrespect, neither. And he's the one who gave me permission to farm here. But... Well, ever since he left home, his whole family's gone straight down to Shitter. Lisa was the only decent one left. She was wise, just like Lenny. Ain't right, I tell you. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Now I'm done talking, goddammit. 
Now go on, get the hell out of here. Philip mentioned something about his son leaving home. That must be Lenny. Did you know about that, Patty? Everyone in town knows about it. By the way, Zack, do you remember what we saw when we were skipping stones? That boat with the dragonfly crest. Zack, no matter where we go in this town, we're constantly assaulted by information related to the Clarkson family. Just where is that skeletal gentleman trying to lead us? Well, we cleared that one, and Talisman has been unlocked. Airboat right has been unlocked. We successfully found the one who fired the pistol at heaven. Okay. Patty? Now we need to visit the White Hall of Beds. You know, Zach, it almost feels like we're orienteering here. Doesn't it remind you of our training in Quantico? No. So when we come back, let's unlock this, because now I can finally come here, and I can get out of here. So when we come back, we will, I may do some stuff off screen first, and then we will, does he give us, well, Chuck may give us, does he give us a mission? Busy smoothing out my stones. Okay, so no. What are you pointing at? What are you doing? Yes. Over there. Thank you, Patty. So when we come back, we'll continue on. I may do some stuff off screen, but we'll figure it out. Till then, y'all take care. And of course, have a good one.